Hello and welcome to this video detailing the process of setting up and using the Salary and Supplier Payments feature within Sage 200. Salary and Supplier Payments is an easy and secure way to pay your suppliers or HMRC directly from Sage 200. The first step is to apply for and set up your Supplier Payments account. This account is a secure virtual wallet, also known as an e-wallet. You add funds to your Supplier Payments account and then use this to pay either your suppliers or HMRC directly. We use your Sage account, formerly known as Sage ID, to keep your Sage Payments account safe and secure. If you don't have a Sage account, then please follow the steps in our Knowledge Base article titled What is a Sage Account and How to Sign Up. Our Knowledge Base can be found by browsing to gb-kb.sage.com. Browse to www.sagepayments.co.uk. Click Buy Now, select the plan that's right for you, and then follow the wizard to complete your purchase. Once you've registered for salary and supplier payments, you receive an email. This contains the link to complete the registration. Please note, you have 48 hours to complete this before the link expires. You also need to download and install the Authy app on your smartphone. You will use this as part of the security when you authorize and access payments. Once the registration is complete, you can link it to Sage 200. Once your Sage Payments account is set up, you should add your accounts and users before linking it to your software. First, log into your Sage Payments account at www.sagepayments.co.uk. At this point, it's worth noting that with a Sage Payments account, you can only make payments on behalf of the single legal entity or business that operates the account. If you have multiple sets of data within your Sage software, you can link these to your Sage Payments account as long as they're part of the same legal entity or business. To make payments for more than one legal entity or business, you must open separate Sage Payments accounts. To link multiple sets of data to your Sage Payments account, for each data set you want to link to, you must first add an account within Sage Payments. Any users you add must have their own Sage account. They'll already have a Sage account if they've ever registered to use or trial Sage Business Cloud Accounting, Sage 200 Standard or Sage Drive. If not, they can create one after you add them as a user. When adding a user, you must use the same email address as the one they used for on their Sage account. Navigate to the Users menu, then click Create New User. Enter their information, and then their role. Admin users have access to all features, can manage other users, but can't view or make approvals. The User role is one that allows the user to view and manage accounts and transactions, create payments and beneficiaries, but can't set notifications or manage users. The View User role allows the user a view-only access. They can see accounts and payment information, but can't set notifications or view or make approvals or manage users. Any role that has a plus approver in the title would give the user the ability to make approvals as well as the permissions given by their main role. For example, the Admin plus approver role would give the user full admin access along with approval ability. Once the user has been created, an authorization code is sent to the registered mobile phone to approve the changes. The new user will receive an email notifying them that they now have access to your Sage Payments account. This will also contain a link to create a Sage account if they don't already have one. We recommend that you carefully consider the suitability of any individuals who are permitted to access your Sage Payments account and of the permissions set for each authorized user. Access groups allow a customer to ensure certain users only have access to certain accounts. By default, this feature is switched off. Click the link to contact support if you need to get this feature activated. Here's an example of how the access groups work. This customer has two accounts and five users. The customer has created two access groups, payroll and supplier. Users one and two operate the payroll for the business, so they are in the payroll group. This group only has the payroll account Users 3 and 4 operate the supplier payments, so they are only in the supplier group. This group only has the supplier account in it. User 5 works on payroll and supplier tasks, so is in both groups, and therefore has access to both the payroll and supplier accounts. As a further example, when user 1 goes to make or approve a payroll payment, they'll only be able to view the payroll account and only be able to select sending accounts that are in the payroll group. When they view payments or approvals in the customer portal, they'll only see payments on accounts that are in their group. To set up supplier payments in Sage 200, you will need to create a new bank account and link this to your supplier payments account. Navigate to Purchase Ledger, Utilities, Ledger Setup, then Supplier Payments Setup. 
set up a bank account to use for supplier payments. If you've already created a bank account for supplier payments, just select this from the list. If you don't already have a bank account, click add to create a new one. Enter the account number and sort code of your supplier payments account. The account currency will be set to pound sterling and can't be changed. As a side note, you can't select a bank account to use with supplier payments if it's currently set as your default bank account. If you can't select a bank account for this reason, you can change your default bank account settings by going to Cashbook, Utilities, then Cashbook Settings. Next, select Enable Supplier Payments. If you're prompted to sign in, use the Sage account link to your supplier payments account. Select the supplier payments account that you want to associate with this Sage 200 company. The list displays all supplier payments accounts and companies that are associated to your Sage account. Click Enable. Read the terms of use and then click Yes if you want to accept the terms and link your Sage 200 company to supplier payments. As well as the user access given in the portal, you need to make sure that your Sage 200 users have access to the relevant areas of the program to allow them to process the payments. For Sage 200 professional users within System Administrator, the users in question need to be given access to the features that you can see on screen. For Sage 200 standard users, access is given within the program. Navigate to Settings, Organizational and Financial, and then User Access. Open the Accounting System Manager section, then the Administration section within that. To set up a supplier to use supplier payments, you'll need to include key information in the supplier details, which is checked during the approval process. You'll need to enable supplier payments for the supplier and submit their details for approval. And you'll need to set the supplier's payment group to use supplier payments. The information you provide must be accurate and complete so that your payments can be processed by supplier payments. This ensures your payment is not delayed, lost or misapplied. To set a supplier to use supplier payments, open Purchase Ledger, Purchase Accounts, then either Enter New Account or Amend Account Details. Once you've selected the supplier account on the company tab, ensure that the following are entered. The currency, the company name, the city or the city in address line three if you're not using segmented addresses, the postcode and the country if you are using segmented addresses. On the bank tab, you must ensure that the account name is filled in. For any UK suppliers that use pound sterling as their currency, you will need to include the sort code and account number. For suppliers that do not use pound sterling as their currency, you will need to include either the BIC or the SWIFT number and the IBAN, or the BIC slash SWIFT number and an additional clearing code for that country. This is for countries that don't use IBAN. On the payment tab, you need to select enable supplier payments, set the payment group to supplier payments or supplier payments and remittance, then click save and submit now. The supplier will now be submitted for approval to your supplier payments account approver. The status will indicate the progress and display approved when you can make payments to this supplier. If you've already set up your supplier accounts and want to enable supplier payments for a group of suppliers, open Purchase Ledger and then navigate to your supplier list. Select all the suppliers in the list that you want to amend and then select Amend Account. Enable supplier payments for each supplier in turn. After you save your changes, you can then click the next button to move to the next supplier account. When you enable supplier payments for a supplier, they will be submitted as a payee to supplier payments for approval. Your supplier payments account approver must authorize the payee via the supplier payments portal. You can check whether the payee has been approved by checking the status on the supplier record or by using the supplier payments dashboard. Now that you've set up supplier payments, given your users the correct access and updated your supplier accounts within the program, you can now start processing payments. You can process payments in the usual way, either individually or using the generate suggested payments routine within the program to pay multiple suppliers at once. Both will result in the payment request being submitted for approval within the supplier payment dashboard. Here you can check the status of each payee, check the authorization of a payment and check the current exchange rates for supplier payments. For more information on the dashboard, please consult the in-product help files. That's it for this demonstration. Thank you for watching.
For more information on Sage 200 Professional Standard or Education, you can view our online help files here or our knowledge base here. Yeah.